What's going on guys, how are we doing today? In this video we're going to be talking about budgets and uh, what they mean and what they are and I'll be pretty much just showing you how I do my budgets and how I build out uh, you know how do I actually structure my business before I go into any business so what's going on guys thank you very much for watching this is Basharka 2 I'm an FBA or Amazon FBA seller and mentor um, in this video I'll be showing you guys how I actually structure my budget uh, you know in every single business that I go into anything that I do before I actually start it or even you know like right after planning for me comes a budget you know I like to know what exactly I'm putting myself into what it's gonna cost to start this thing this project this business whatever it is this idea even for you know for when I started planning for my marriage you know for my wedding for the wedding day you know I was I built out a budget for you know exactly uh, what do I want to do and uh, you know how much I'm gonna spend and such so you have because you know the last thing you want is starting something and only having enough for like half or three quarters or a third of the project and then getting to that point and then running out of money and not having enough money to actually fulfill the whole project you know and being stuck in the middle you wasted time you wasted energy you wasted money and did not get something done all the way so this is what I do every time I actually start something right so in this um, for this example we're talking about uh, you know for Amazon FBA now you could use this for anything all you gotta do is just change the items uh, and insert whatever items they are and the source and the quantity and such but aside from that it should be you know it's about like this it's very simple very easy you know a few rows few um, uh, few spots and then that's uh, you know that's that so Excel you know I use Excel for, for all of my budgets and stuff like that it's very easy you know you could build any uh, formula you want or any equation you want so let's say you know like uh, I'm gonna show you just something quick on how this works so let's say you know what I do is you know how I got this number right so what I do is the quantity of this item is 200 and then each item is two uh, two dollars and fifty cents so I got 500 so what you do is you go to then do equals let's say this times this and then this is the number that it's gonna give you here right so if I do five here see what's gonna happen Oh, because this is zero. So let's do one. So see, this is five. If we do 500, that's 2,500. So just like that. It's very easy, very simple. Um, you could do it. If I could do it, you could do it. Cool. All right. So let's go a uh, little bit in details of what the budget consists of for an item, right? So I created this for the actual course that I have. Uh, if you are interested in that or interested in learning more, click on the link below. It's going to be the first uh, link in the description. As I do have a mentoring program, you could join if you want. Um, aside from that, I do post daily videos about Amazon FBA, so do subscribe to my channel um, or other videos when requested. So if you need something, you want me to cover anything, leave it in the comments below. Let me know and I will cover it for future videos. Um, so let's say the first item. First item, main item, Amazon product. Uh, so what you do is you put whatever product it is. So if it's like uh, you know a shirt, if it's a chair, if it's a, an ashtray, whatever it may be, you put the uh, name of the item right here. You put the source where you're getting it from. You know which supplier. If you're doing retail arbitrage, maybe Walmart or Home Goods or whatever. 200 units. How many units you're getting? Cost per unit. That's how much you're getting. And then payment of method. Payment of method. Method of payment. Sorry. Um, you know. And that's optional, honestly. Uh, let's go ahead and put optional here. You know, you could. Okay, I can't spell today. Optional. Um, you could do it if you want. You don't have to. Uh, this is just for me. I like to to pretty much know exactly, you know, how I'm paying for something. Um, shipping. You know, make sure that you are putting the shipping method or where it's coming from. Typically, the same supplier that you get the product from will ship the product for you also. So you put the name of the supplier, how many, of course, 200, because if you're getting, you know, 200 units, then you're getting 200 units shipped, right? And how much it's costing you, $1.60, PayPal, uh, UPC code. Now, UPC code is a one-time thing you have to buy for every specific item. So let's say next time you reorder this item, so you ordered uh, 200 items of this product. Now, they're about to run out or they ran out or whatever the case may be. You want to order more. This is not going to be there. Neither is this or this. Or this, uh, or this. Well, yeah, or this. 
use advertising. Well, these are going to be there, right? So there's a few things. This is like oh, the first time budget. You know, this is like you just did the budget for the first time, and this is how you're going to do it. Now, there, you're going to notice that I have logo here. Now, when I'm making this um, this specific budget, I'm actually you know looking at it as if you are very new to Amazon FBA. This is your first product. This is your first time that you're doing this. So this is not just a, a one product budget, but this is an overall budget for exactly how everything is going to happen, how much it's going to cost you, things like that. Now, put in mind these numbers can go up and down. Not everything here, but more this these two numbers. Uh, because it depends on how much your product can cost and how many units you're ordering and how much is being shipped for. You know, like maybe cost you 40 cents to ship or maybe dollar fifty, depends on how big or small, heavy or light your product is. It might cost you dollar fifty, it might cost you five dollars, depends on what the item is. If you're ordering only a hundred units, it's one price. If you're ordering, you know, a thousand units, it's a different price, right? So these numbers could vary, but this is just a bulk number that I am putting here. Uh, package design. I use Fiverr.com. Um, you know, I'll put a link there. You just it's uh, f i v e r r.com. Uh, you could use that website. It's it's very good. You know, a lot of things are done there for five dollars. Uh, for the package design, it cost me fifteen dollars. For my logo, honestly, it only cost me uh, five bucks. Now this is logo to be put in on the actual product itself it's not to design the logo right because you want the supplier to actually put your logo on the item that way it's yours because we're private labeling I'm teaching you guys how to private label um, FBA fee this is something that Amazon charges you to fulfill your products for you because once again I'm teaching you how to do FBA I'm not teaching you how to fulfill the products yourself so you know you're not gonna have your supplier ship them to your house and you're going to be the one actually, you know, fulfilling the orders. You're going to have the supplier ship them to Amazon's fulfillment centers or, uh, directly. And then Amazon is going to fulfill for you, do your customer service, all that. And this is what I do. This is what I teach. Amazon referral fee. Now, that's a 15% uh, that Amazon charges per uh, of the selling price. This also can vary. You might sometimes, you know, like sometimes when I start, I'll start my price a little bit lower than my target price. So let's say if I want to, you know, if I want to get my price to 20, 20 99 eventually, what I'll do is I'll start my price at like 18.39, 18.49, even 18.99, and I'll start kind of testing the water, seeing what it is. A lot of times it's happened, and that's very usual. Don't let it freak you out. With Amazon, as you raise the price, you experience higher sales. Do understand, Amazon does make money off of more you sell and the higher the price, right? Amazon would rather you sell the item for $20 than you sell it for $18 because they're making 15% of the selling price. It's not a set number. So if you, you know, their fee for $20 is 15%, that's $3. For $18, I don't know what that is. It, it's less than that, right? So they'd rather you sell it for higher. Now, there comes a point where the consumer is only willing to pay for a product at a certain price. You know, like just because Amazon will make more money doesn't mean you can sell on a $20 item for $25 and still experience the same sales. You know, you could play around with a dollar to maybe $3. But you'll, you know, what I typically do is I start it a little bit lower than my target price. I'll start raising it as I go, and especially in the beginning, so I can accumulate sales. I can start ranking up higher organically. As soon as I'm on the, you know, first couple pages, then I'll start uh, um, putting my price higher, and then I'll start experiencing higher sales until my, you know, either my sales kind of start going sideways or even, you know, uh, go down. And then I know, okay, well, that's that's where the th threshold is. I need to kind of put my price here or at the lower price. Uh, storage fee, Amazon does charge $0.40 cents per item. Uh, that's only for six months. I've never had an item stay longer than six months. I don't know what they charge after that. Uh, neither do the – I've tried calling Seller Central and asking them. They don't even know. Uh, labeling fee, <clears throat> excuse me. If you have Amazon label for you, which means put the UPC code for you, it's 10 cents if you do it or have your supplier do it. If you have Amazon do it for you, they charge 20 cents. So I typically have my suppliers do it for me. Advertising then, now that, I mean, it could be hundreds of dollars, it could be a couple of dollars, depends on how 
competitive the product is depends on how much money you have to start off with typically you know I put a you know a good number here but I, I do a lot more than this I typically honestly personally do about you know when I first start depends on how competitive the product is but between 15 to 25 sometimes I've done it once where I had $30 a day for at least the first week so I spent a couple hundred dollars a week the first at least week or two to get my product up there so I'm showing up the first because the more clicks the more orders then I'll start showing up organically then I'll you know I'll either downgrade my PPC or I'll, I'll cut it off altogether FB advertising that's something that I go into second I don't do it right away but I just put in there fifty dollars that's fine and then money transfer fee <clears throat> now PayPal does charge five dollars a lot of your suppliers will eat that some of them will uh, you know actually transfer it over to you let you pay for it um, I've done it where PayPal was down one time and I had to actually uh, send or transfer money via my bank account via wire transfer and my bank Wells Fargo charges forty five dollars per transfer whether you're transferring fifty bucks or you're transferring you know a hundred thousand they'll charge you forty five bucks so it was kind of annoying because I like to first put a deposit and then as uh, as the product ships then I'll you know pay for the full price so I had to pay ninety dollars I did not like that you know I did not realize until I actually paid the deposit that I was getting charged forty five dollars per transaction because it was my first time doing it otherwise I'd have just you know paid it once you know that way I'm saving forty five bucks you know divided by five hundred units that is you know five ten cents there you know what I mean that I could have saved per item it is what it is now I know for next time but just so that you know this is kind of what a budget looks like do make sure you make a budget for anything I'm not just talking about Amazon FBA I'm talking about anything you do any even if you want to take a trip you want to go out with your girlfriend you're proposing you want to buy a house you want listen I did not do this many years ago I started the business and I completely failed because I did not take the appropriate measures I did not build a budget budgets are very important especially in this game in the Amazon game make sure you do it it's very simple as you can see this took me like five minutes to do just gotta figure out the numbers you literally could take this take a screenshot and then all you gotta do is just put your own numbers most of your num most of your items are gonna be the same you might need to just put in like how right here I have Amazon product just put in the name of it and then suppliers and all that and then just change the numbers but that's about it very easy very simple almost every single computer on this planet has an Excel or I don't know if Mac has something different but I know Windows has Excel um, so this is how it works very simple very easy once again guys this is Bashar Cat 2 I am an Amazon FBA seller and mentor if you have any questions please leave them in the comments below smash the thumbs up button let me know if there is anything I'm going to cover in the future that I don't cover or have not covered I will do my research and cover it for you it doesn't have to be about Amazon FBA if you want to join the mentoring program, the first link below is for that. The second link, I'll put Fiverr.com. You can just click on it, go to Fiverr.com. Uh, many of you might have already used it. But aside from that, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Y'all take care.